Arakan, a very traditional old village here on uh, Shiyu Island in Penghu, which is a small island in the Taiwan Straits. This is a very traditional old village, Abula. It's over 300 years old. So um, we'll be leaving the temple and going to the old village now. While this village is 300 years old, it's important to remember that none of the original inhabitants are still here, being that if they were, they would be very, very old. Um, the village has attempted to make, or rather attempted to keep, the traditional feel of the place going on. And uh, so a lot of people who I've met here, um, well, these are peanuts, we should take a note of that. Very nice. The punk was very, very famous for its peanuts, um, which is why when Jimmy Carter, himself a peanut farmer, broke off relations with Taiwan, it was especially painful for the people of Penghu because they felt as if they had been, you know, done in by one of their own fellow peanut farmer. But that's all old history. They don't hold a grudge against most Americans unless you happen to be from Georgia or an American peanut farmer yourself. Um, now, notice the walls, the coral walls here. are uh, made of coral, although you can see where they've fallen down, they don't use corals yet. They don't, because, uh, well, there's just no more coral. It's so, not known as it's for its sturdiness. Right? It's also not known for it being a terribly renewable resource, especially when you fish it with dynamite. Um, so that people from people who live in this village, um, you know, they came from the same village in Jinmen, and that they all have the same Xingming, they have the same, uh, they all have the same family. surname, family name. Yeah. <laughs> Your house is very pretty, it's like a museum. You go to the house, you go to the house, you go to the house, you go to the Sometimes you just, you know, part of the deal when you, when you have a house here is people are going to come and they're going to look at it because it's like a museum. You see your house, it's, it's beautiful inside. One can you go inside? Yeah. You can go look inside. And, but, you know, sometimes it gets annoyed. No privacy. So she says, ah, when I get tired of it, I just close my doors. But look at this beautiful, and this must be teak wood, I'm not sure, but it's just utterly beautiful. Um, some modern things, but this is. This is don't touch. Don't touch. Cheers. These are. Oh, this is. Ah. You see, uh, we're, oh, we're being closed in for the night. <laughs> this is very traditional style house. This is, you know, there's no admission charge. It's just the deal with living in Urkhan is you invite people on into your home. Determined is that stone grinding thing is used to make this, which is uh, it's like an almond milk. It's uh, like a cross between crushed almonds and soy milk, but it's not actually milk, although it is milky. You can see it's very white, and uh, we're, we're enjoying this fine, cool beverage on a hot day in a traditional Urkhan home. Wait, this is 3D. Doctor Scary's 3D theater. Here, have some almond milk. <laughs> think this is very funny. This is, this is the, hold of, the home of old people. This is Lao Ren Jia. This is Lao Ren Jia. Hello, you how? Hello, you 很会什么享受你们就你们就是在这里吗卖搞完对啊就这里我去搞完你们有一个贵妇在这里我去搞完你们有一个贵妇在这里我去搞完你们有一个贵妇在这里我去搞完你们有一个贵妇在这里我去
这个女的就是你卖吗？对，可以寄的哦，可以寄给你的朋友。It's a really nice, very, very. 没有味道。Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You look, they're made of wood and they're postcards. You could. So I know, I just can. This is to the U.S. Hey, here you can. To the U.S. Will it? Will it? This is very wide. Can. Will it? America will remember. Wow. But it's too expensive. But it's too expensive. But it's too expensive. It's sixty NT for one, and I mean that's you know it's a lot of money for a postcard, but it's a postcard that's made of wood, you know. When's the, when's the last time somebody liked you enough to mail you a postcard made of wood? I think you should buy one. Gabby, you're gonna buy one. Yeah. This is a little post office box. The mailman from probably from Xiu, this island here, will every. If you mail this, somebody from probably the local post office, probably Wai'an, Wai'an City, will come here, drag that out, and then probably put it on a boat to Magong, and then they'll probably take that on a boat to Taipei or Kaohsiung or wherever, and then they'll mail it out. Oh, this is Mrs. Chen. This, this, everybody here is this is this is this is the village of the people named Chen. So she is an actual Chen. 所以你的爸爸的爸爸的爸爸的爸爸。对，我们这里有四房，就是我们的祖先他是从金门来，然后他生下四个儿子，然后就是四房。那我们现在就是这个四房传下来，大房、二房、三房、四房传下来。对。This she's saying that from Jinmen originally the family came here. 四传。Four houses. And they built four houses. Four brothers. Four brothers came here. Four brothers. 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 In some way or another, or from marriage, from the original four brothers who came here. Yes, yeah. Sure. Just a little model of the original homes that were here, the original houses. Do you speak English? Not very good. It's your English is very good. Do you want to explain what this is? Um, this is the kitchen. This is the bathroom. A bathroom. Yeah. There are one, two, three, four, three bedrooms. Right. Is this like the original house that the four brothers lived in when they first came here from Jinmen? Yeah. So it's the same. They built these houses. Um. No, actually, um, they are one couple from Jinmen. Right. And then they have four. Four sons. sons. Yeah. Okay. So they divided four um, families. Why, why did they come from Jinmen? Why? Why? Because did they Actually, chop down all the trees? There are Jinmen? many people in Pongu yeah. come from came from Jinmen. Okay. Yeah, about three hundred years ago. Is it because Chenggong chopped all the trees down? Um, maybe you have to ask the historian. Okay. Yeah, but some historians say uh, because of uh, Zheng Chenggong. Right. And some said uh, because the. The climbing and the food there is not enough. Right. Yeah. In Jinmen, because yeah. after Chen Chenggong went and chopped down all the trees, it was the, it was very it was hard to grow things. All the topsoil <laughs> broke flew away. So a lot of people came from Jinmen to Pangu. But Pangu is more pretty, right? Yeah. Yunqing is going to explain what the meaning of this shirt is. Mm. Um, this is a raincoat. Uh, when people ra uh, when when it rains and people can wear this one to protect their. Skinks. Doesn't it get itchy? I think you know, Phyllis, this is going to be itchy. I'm telling you, you're wearing this. You're wearing this, you're scratching. That's what I'm just what I'm saying. But I want. I have a very special question to ask her about this. So you have to wait for that. Is it, is it vulgar? It's not at all. I'm not a vulgar person. I'm a very nice person. <laughs> Michael, call me. Call me, Michael Ballant. Call me. Call me. Okay, sorry. That was, that was, you're going to edit that out, okay? Because that was, I had a moment of weakness, and I, I'm sorry about that. Wait. How old is it? Do you know? About 80 years. Okay, so my other question, so last question. You know now at 7-Eleven, if it's raining, you can buy a raincoat yeah. at 7-Eleven. Yeah. If people could buy this at 7-Eleven? No, you don't of think, course not. I think if you sold this at 7-Eleven. You have to do it by yourself because they don't work. have much money to buy it. Okay. I, I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Fellini. Uh, this is traditional Taiwanese family. Delicious. Tainan. Tainan. Taiwan. Tainan.
They're from Tainan, uh, which is itself Hello. known for its delicious food. Uh, Tainan, you can probably get your own Zhanghua in Tainan. You have your own Mishan, right? Tell us what, what you think about uh, Penghu food. Delicious. Oh, it's, yes. uh, Tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> a different from my different, different my from Tainan. They use for this, this is a noodle, this is a, a rice noodle. noodle. It's a rice noodle yeah. that they use. They make pumpkin. 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 Yeah, pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah. And this is a jitang or? Milk. No, no, no. Fish. Oh, fish. Fish. fish soup, obviously, fish. being in fish. islands here. Yeah. yeah. Fish. A lot of fish soup. And, uh, We'll have what they're having. This is Taiwanese Gingsha. It's delicious. It's the best. It's much better than any ice cream you've ever had. It's just shaved ice with honey and fruit. It is so good. This is Rice <laughs> noodle. <laughs> this is this is a Penghu specialty. You're not going to find this. You can go to your night markets in Taipei. You can go to your Jilong Miaoko, but you're not going to find noodles like this. This is Penghu specialty. What's it called? I forget. What's it called? Because Jiazhuo. Somebody, somebody. Mi in what? Jingua mi fen. Jingua mi fen. It's a. Jingua, jingua, jingua. It's pumpkin rice noodle. Golden melon. Golden When you're eating fish soup, when you're eating a fish soup in Taiwan, you know, you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, now we got the head here. I understand that the eyeball is the best part. And it's very hot. It's just his yen chou, right? So in that. Well, the Panya Abula, my friend Abula wants to eat. I want him to have the best part. Oh, nice. So you eat, Thank eat the eyeball. You. Eat the eyeball. Show him the eyeball. Yeah. What? Ew. Ooh. Ooh. He ate it. Mm. Uh. Nice. That's supposed to be the most nutritious part. This is supposed to be the most nutritious, but I don't want to eat it. But this is a really good. This this Panghu has the best seafood. We. This is a true fact. So the people here are uh, all f basically surnamed Chan. Chen, right? Tell me the family name just a Chen. Yeah. And uh, they all come from Jinmen. The people in this village all came from Jinmen about 300 years ago. So that's their older history. I could ask around, but what I suspect happened is all over Penghu you see a lot of old villages that look like this, but they're very run down. Is I'd imagine that the Penghu government, to encourage people, because this is such a nice spot for tourists, they got people to stay here. And, uh, you know, Encourage them to stay here by a maintaining their houses in the pristine, in their pristine but original state, and b saying, look, this is a good place. You can have tourists coming in, you know, in the summer and even in the winter. We'd like it to be maintained as it has been for 300 years. So there's no reason for you to move off to Magong. You know, you can stay here. We'll move to Taiwan. This is this is, this is how you uh, wash your hands in here. There you go. See, you don't get more traditional than that. He says, there's a, you can actually live here. There's a really, really nice um, guest house here where you can stay and stay with traditional family. This is probably, of, of all the traditional preserved villages you know, in and around Taiwan, this is one of the best ones. It, it's got a really nice feeling to it. And because of its remoteness, of its just being so... It's, you know, not only is it away from the mainland of Taiwan, but it's, you know, even on the far side of Penghu. So it's just close enough to come to if you really want to see it, but it's kind of, you don't get many just, you know, throngs of day tourists coming here. So it, it's kind of got a feeling of people actually live here, and yes, it's in, got the museum thing. Bye -bye. I told her when she comes to my, my town, just come and give me a call. Because I've been to her house three times already. But um, yeah, no, there's, def there's definitely a, you know, an alive feeling to this place. And it's sort of a living history. And um, I think that's pretty neat. Um, the, the, the Taiwan government's done pretty good in trying to keep places like this alive. You know. um, this is our, it's our chef, right? Hi, 
Mr. Chan， 你姓 Chan 对不对？对对。我怎么知道？哦，你的国语说的很棒。是啊。嗯。So、your name is Chan. How did I know? 好，我们出游泳 ，so we say goodbye to Mr. Chan and we say goodbye. 好，一家二。